Hello, how you guys doing? Um, we wanted to welcome you to the Advantage Business Institute Google Classroom Network. Um, a few of you may know that um, with several of the classes that we have, which is going to be the government contracting class, the actual um, tax lien investing class that I have, um, business um, building business credit class that's in on the Teachable Network. We're going to be moving from that network coming over here to the Google Classroom. So this week and next week, everybody who are actually enrolled on the Teachable platform will actually be uh, moved over to the Google Classroom network um, to better facilitate and limit who gets into these classes versus the person just actually going and uh, paying to get into the classes. What you see on the screen here is me actually um, logged in on the my account which would look exactly how you guys um, screen would look when you're logged in to either one of your classes or whichever one of the classes that you may be enrolled in at, at that particular time. This basically um, this is going to be an uh, intro on getting you guys familiar with um, how to navigate around um, going into the class, what the class entails and, and that sort of thing. Uh, one of the first things that you guys going to get is going to get uh, when you're going into any of these Google Classroom classes is the um, joining through the Google Classroom uh, here and this basically uh, just navigates and tells you gives you instructions on how to navigate and go about getting into in these any classes that you may be in um, give you a few pointers and stuff like that as well um, uh, I, I really want to go I'm gonna go through several of these uh, classes to actually show you a little bit about what's involved in these uh, classes what all it comes with and stuff like that um, the major ones that we have which is going to be the tax lien investing class here the um hold on let me see where is it? the government con the government contracting class is going to be one um this is the debt to, uh, to investor class here and actually goes in and talks about how to become a debt collector this is a major class right here um, the freight dispatch central class is a class that I um, set up basically using the PDF format uh, to make it a lot easier for you to understand. Um, this is going over to determine the correct value for your land. Um, this is the land banking class. So let me just dive in and just show you guys um, what some of these classes are. Um, this class right here, this investing quest right here is going to be for kids who are actually um, Seven, um, seven and younger, and then this particular class is going to be for kids that are actually eight and older. Um, these are tax lien classes. But let me just dive into a, a couple of these and show you. For example, um, I'm gonna start with the tax lien investing one on one. So basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna these are gonna be announcements right here where people come in and leave comments and stuff like that. This is gonna be the initial announcement that goes in and in. Uh, introduces itself to the students that are coming into this particular class but you're going to actually come here to classwork and um, when you come in here you're going to be able to see different curriculums that you can come through and start going through these particular curriculums you're going to have uh, different sections of these curriculum tax lean and tax these you're going to have a lot of pretty good bit of information here um, this is getting into the dynamics of the tax lien investing the pre-auction procedures uh, um, these are going to be at the bottom of these you know which is here is going to be the questionnaires and stuff that you will have uh, this is going to be the yields uh, versus the property acquisition area it's going to go into locating your um, county listings and stuff like that um, you know questionnaires for whatever you may have gotten out of this section right here after each session you're going to have certain questions uh, but when you get down here to twine's valuable downloads we have quite a few downloads here 
uh, that we have in 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 within this particular class we actually have um, Google property sheets where you can come in and actually keep up with um, each property that you're purchasing um, versus you know as well as what you sell uh, on your properties this is for uh, for the students yeah uh, this right here would actually give you an update on um, the sales tracker into a, uh, a graph here uh, see here um, this is gonna be these are gonna be very very important downloads right here uh, let me go into show you for example uh, here this area right here will be um, my over-the-counter um, database list or you can actually go in and actually put in for properties. Uh, here I have links where you can actually go in and actually look at some of these properties from all over. Um, and who providing them, you know, who 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 is that where they the links and everything are where you're gonna be able to find these properties at. All this information is in here. Okay. Then you're gonna have uh this is the land bank list here you actually be able to go in and find properties uh, let's click on Savannah for example here you'll be able to go in and actually see all type of properties that are actually up for sale you can come here and click on the link so basically it's being able to know what you're actually selling and whether or not these people are getting um, their money's worth in these particular classes I think I hold a class unlike a lot of other classes where people are going to actually come in and be able to find these properties, you know, um, like clockwork once they're going in here. Uh, everything you see here in the green is actually land that's for sale. Everything you see in the yellow is going to be actual structures, uh, you know, on the, these on these properties or whatever. Um, so let me go back here. And these are gonna be land banks somewhere everywhere, you know. We go to Baton Rouge. And that's this is also in the land banking class as well, but the land banking class is gonna be a lot more detailed than what we see here. Um come here and click on this. This is the land banks inventory. These are all the properties that land banks actually have. Um that they're selling, you know pennies on a dollar as you can see we were roughly at what 194,000 properties it's actually for sale um, you're gonna see them once it loads up here in a bit okay let me re let me reset this It's a lot of property, so sometimes this thing takes a while to upload all these properties. These are going to be um, all the properties that they're actually going to have for sale. You can actually click on them and actually inquire about purchasing these properties. Um, the mapping part of this, um, it usually takes a, uh, a good second, a good second or two for it to upload all of this. Um, for whatever reason, it's not uploading it. For, 
you know but the list is actually showing you can actually uh, export it too <clears throat> but anyway uh, if it's pulling up slow here you can actually just pull up the list over here as you see you're gonna have 1949 pages of nothing but properties that you're gonna be able to click on actually go in uh, inquire by purchasing those properties uh, so any of your students or any of the individuals that you are inquiring about they want to purchase that this particular class or whatever they're going to be able to come here and they're going to be able to see um, these properties here the information um, in relation to that um, particular class let me go back out of here now so yeah so this is the land bank list it's, as you see I got a uh, pretty good bit of states and links where you can actually go into and actually you know find these particular piece of, these particular piece of properties uh, <clears throat> we won't go into too much I won't go into this too much it's a lot of information here for your students that's actually going in and taking these this particular class uh, and uh, so then you're gonna be so let me go to another uh, class here for example let me go to the government well let me go back here sorry forgot about some uh, area here so below this down port downloads area this is the area where they're going to actually come to and actually see videos these this is where all the videos at this is the hour and one minute video uh, this is going to be a how to determine um, uh, to buy a tax property that's only three minutes long this one is an hour and 59 minutes long this one is 31 minutes long uh, this is a two hour and 42 minute long video this is a two hour nine minute long video and this one is a one hour and 18 minute video then I have one other how to video um, that you you know that you can come through here and actually uh, gather a lot of information as well so it's a, it's a lot of information in this particular class but it's best for them to just start watching the videos first then they can actually fall back into the actual assignments which is going to be up here the reading material and stuff like that they can actually get into that at that particular time then you can come back and you can actually view your work here clicking on view your work uh, anything that we may have assigned or something like that for you to do that'll come up in there uh, anything that we may have that's going to have anything to do with the Google Calendar you can click here uh, anything that's into the Google Classroom Drive like anything that documents or anything that I've actually uploaded into the uh, for the class you can click on class drive folder and it'll actually bring you to um, um, where documents will be dropped into uh, for that particular class that that particular classroom folder for that um, which we're working on right now I'm working on sending some documents over there for that on how to make a quarter of a million dollars a year just with these tax liens okay so another one this one right here uh, this is going to be the building the business credit one on one. Uh, his introduction into the uh, curriculums where they actually go through here. Uh, quite a good bit of steps, but here, like on some of the other classes, it's going to be you know downloadable products that they can actually come in and download uh, from the my tier one net 30 uh, net 20 to net 30 accounts for your business to be able to start building up his business credit i got the links here uh the net 30 the net type where they're going to be a net 30 net 20 or net 22 or whatever what credit bureaus they're going to be reporting to you can actually click on the links here to actually go to uh apply for the net 30s i have the links for you guys here um crown office supplies you can actually click here uh, you click on the link it'll actually take you over to the actual page where you can actually go in and apply for that net 30 to uh, start building up that business credit and of course you want to go through um, the act you know you want to go through the course 
and actually make sure that you got all your steps in line before you start actually applying for um, any of these and of, of course you're going to be clicking up here at the top up here for applying for the net 30s okay so that's one there this one is one that I have also nobody has as many trade lines as I have when it comes to these net 30s to the net 90s I, um, I'm at 124 trade lines with links uh, all in Mexico Australia uh, the UK Canada I, I even have some in Ireland too which is going to be down here uh, so we got quite a few trade lines uh, you know for building up that business credit um, so that's in the business thing we also have the corporate bylaws um, information on starting your company the LLC operating agreement um, other building your business credit steps this is the how to structure your company this is your checklist right here your how to checklist how to write the business plan how to do all that uh, quite a few things here how to hire you from even to how to hire your workers how to close the business if you're going to try to close it how to sell your business I got a lot of information there for your students as well um, okay so I'm going to go through the government contracting part of this uh, this uh, class from the introduction it's going to go into you know what are small business certifications it's going to give you a little test here you know each one of these is going to have a exam at the end that you get graded on once you complete uh, you're going to have uh, downloadable products here this is going to be everything that you'll need here I got everything just about for you uh, from how to fill out and register for the sales registration how to go about putting in for the women uh, women on small business and the di uh, economic disadvantage women on small business uh, the checklist everything you need to have uh, here what most of the people don't realize is that they need to have a capability statement that is going to be presentable for the government I have both of these in word where you actually be able to do professional uh, or your students will be able to do professional um, capability statements that's going to be presentable and you know for the government so I've I got these designed strictly for that um, and they can be formatted for any different industry you know so that's there here we're going to have all the videos we got videos after videos um, which is going to be the first area this is video is 39 minutes it's going to be based on building your uh, business relationships with um, uh, with the government this is going to include doing your uh, the Duns and the SAM registration which since this update here you don't need Dun a Duns number to register with SAMS now you can go straight on and get your SAMS without having a Duns that's the only changes that have been made as a two hour video uh, this right here goes on the US uh, spending um, being able to know where the government is getting ready to spend their money at before they spend it so that you can make sure that you drive your business to that nature of work so that you can put in and get some of those government contracts uh, this is going to go over your next and your PSC codes which is your product service codes um, as a description of your business telling the, letting the government what it is that you actually do by code this is the federal procurement agency uh, video it's a 19 minute video a short video this is the follow your money video it's a very very brief video but gives a lot of information at the same time it's several minutes on that particular video uh, this is picking your fruit in your own backyard it's a short intro video as well get down to the nitty gritty of letting you know how important it is to find contracts that's right there in your backyard well, that's why I call it picking the fruit in your own backyard you got government contracts right in your area that other companies from other states are actually coming in to get those contracts and you can be getting those contracts and that's what I mean by picking the fruit in your own backyard uh, this is the federal procurement agency forecast it's different than the federal procurement agency this is the actual forecast it actually goes in and go about showing you how to actually find uh, this information before it even comes out this is the government contracting uh, certs and set asides women owned businesses uh, veteran owned businesses this is what that's for uh, this video actually goes in and show you a lot of information that you probably won't get anywhere else uh, 
FRPs and you're partnering with larger contractors, which is going to be mainly due to the um, uh, the uh, the mentor protege programs. Your students will be able to learn about the mentor protege program where they can partner up with larger contracts to use both their funding, their equipment, their staffing, everything to be able to get those contracts. And those are contracts that the larger contractors cannot get because they're not small businesses. So they're using your business, bringing you in as a mentor, and they product. I mean, bring you in as a protege, and they mentor your company and you on getting these contracts. Uh, and then, of course, you know, uh, I got a follow-up video here. Uh, that's an hour and forty minutes, forty-one minutes long. That's going to be on the uh, SBA contracting assistance program. So. That it's a lot of information in this in this particular class as well. It's a lot of information in all of the classes uh, that we actually have. This is going to be the land bank investing one. Uh, I won't really go into too much depth too depth into these right here, but this is uh, a lot of information is in this class right here. Uh, let me go back. Uh, Again, these are for kids. You know, these two classes right here, the Pirates class and the Investment Quest class. Uh, Mastering the Land, uh, Land Flipping, that's a good one. Uh, this is um, the S-Corps Insiders. You know, everybody know I love S-Corps. Uh, this is the Affordable Housing uh, Academy uh, class. It's a pretty good class too. But, so, Mainly, uh, let me go into this debt. I mean, to the freight dispatching center and show you a little bit about this class, too. Okay, again, you know, we have a little welcome in here. This announcement to the class whenever anyone comes in this particular class. Okay, so we got uh, this particular class is a little bit different than the other classes because I wanted to make it pretty brief. This is an easy business to get into to be able to make a pretty good bit of money but we got exams on each one of these here that you'll actually take uh when they get ready to, after you completed this part right here this is the e this is going to be an ebook dispatching uh, platform here uh, this is basically all you're going to really need this is all you're really going to need when it comes to the dispatching i got everything laid out for you in pdf format real real easy going over the bill of Latin with you, uh, the carrier packet, uh, rate confirmation, it's you, everything that you're going to actually need, everything. Um, these are brokers that uh, work with new authorities. Uh, I also have here, uh, let me show you, low boards where you do not need to have uh, right here. These are, these are low boards that uh, that you would need really to j jump into business. You see what I'm saying? And um, this particular low boy right here, that.com, uh, you don't need MC or DOT number to gain access to these to this low board. However, with truckstop.com, um, you will need MC or DOT number to gain access, but you can use your first carrier DOT or MC number to gain access um, to this low board. And then the rest of them you don't need it. you don't need that it's not required you know so i even have that in here you know so uh, and then of course you know uh like i say the exam is going to be here you get graded on your exams uh, and let me see my, go through one more uh, let me see I mean, this is the most expensive class that I have, but it's also the class that generating the most money for the students. Uh, real, real, you know, for the students that are in this class, I forget how many students are, have taken this class. I want to say it's about 25, let me see. Yeah, 25 students have taken this class already. All of them making really good money with this particular class. This class is a little bit different than the other ones. I don't go into video sections or nothing with this particular class here. 
the most important thing is gathering this information. However, you do have, once you come into this class, you're going to, the first section up here is a quick look into the heart of the course. <clears throat> I actually go in and give them, uh, you have a 20 minute video here that you can watch. It's going to educate you a little bit on to the, uh, on the debt investing business or becoming a debt uh, collector or debt investor. This is one of my connections here with Alexandra. He's, he's a guy I've been purchasing debt from, from a long, for a long time. I'm going to go in and show you some of the, the, uh, debt files that he actually has in his, uh, portfolio for sale and give you and explain it to you a little bit so that when your students actually take this class, you have really have a, a little bit of knowledge of what they, they looking for, uh, what they, you know, what they have ahead of them. But, this is uh, these are actually debt files. Let me go to uh, say Bank of America. Bank of America. This is set. They they have this debt, which are consumer credit cards ranging from the age of two thousand and seven to two thousand and eight. Uh, they're the third agency that has gotten this particular debt. That's what that's for. That three. It's twenty four point four million dollars worth of debt. And then what they do is, it's 4,713 accounts. So what they do is to value each account on an average. Then they divide this 24 million by how many accounts it is. And that tells them the average of how much each account balance is. $5,179.28 based on that. And they're selling that file for $14,000 for the entire 4,713 accounts. They sell this in BPSs, uh, like data, data weight. This particular seller will break this debt down four million dollars for every four thousand. So you can pay four thousand dollars for four million dollars worth of debt. Well, chances are on debt that old, you may not be able to collect on all of it because over a period of time, you're looking at what 13, 16 years. Some people have changed addresses, some people have changed phone numbers, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But you still can do what they call skip tracing and find them. See? Now, the thing about it is, for each account, you're going to have, when you buy this account, buy this information from Bank of America, you actually have all the information that's required to collect on that debt. This company here, that I put here, which is oldest.com. They will actually send out letters uh, for these. Hold on, let me click this, open a new tab. They will actually send out letters to the individual that you owe debt, that owe you the debt. And they only charging $6, but they report to all three credit bureaus. So when they send it out to all three credit bureaus, that breaks it down from you having to do so much work on finding that individual. You let the credit report find them. Once the credit report see that, hey, you own it, uh, once the credit bureaus update that information, they're going to be able to see that you are the new owner of that debt, um, and they owe you for that debt now. Um, these are some sample letters that they actually send out. Um, uh, to collect on the debt for you, it's gonna, they're going to have your information here. Uh, uh, no, the debt charge, they're going to have the debt charge information here, but then they're going to have your information for them to actually return the money to, which will be here. Uh, and it doesn't go to oldest.com. It goes to you. So that person will actually be able to contact you and say, hey, you know, I see you put a account on my credit, blah, blah, blah. They may want to negotiate to get the debt resolved or whatever. Uh, that's big money right there, you know, into that. That's what that particular, this particular class is, is about. Uh, I actually have some demonstrations on that I did to show how this debt come about and how it actually gets to these individuals, <clears throat> the process of it, all this and that, uh, the whole layout. But you're going to go through all of that actually in the, the rest of the particular class, or they will. Um, 
I also have debt sellers list outside of my connections. There's a whole list of them here as well. Uh, statute of limitations. Uh, this is the debt buyer's attachments when you're buying the debt. I put together for you for the students as well. Okay. So that was just to give you a rundown on uh, the class rooms, the classes. Uh, of course, you see the pricing on here. You know what each one of these classes cost. Um, as a VIP member, if you got this video, then you have been enrolled as a VIP member, whether you are actually in one of these classes or all of the classes or not. Uh, you're, you're actually in as a VIP member. And if you should sell these classes, you only paying me 30% of the face value of what these classes cost. So, for example, if, if someone is trying to get into a de determining the correct the correct value for uh, for Roland in this particular guide, that's a thousand dollars. So you know, okay, well, if I get somebody, if somebody wants to join that class, they got to pay a thousand dollars. But if they come through me, which is you, uh, you know that you only have to pay twenty three hundred dollars for them to take that class, thirty percent. That leaves seven hundred dollars on the table for you. Well, you may give them a discount of, say, $200, when they're getting in the class for $800 now. Well, I'm positioning you where you're going to make $500. You're making more than I am for them to join the class. Some people may say, well, okay, well, why are you letting people make more than you on your class? Well, for one, it's all about helping people be able to get out of a compromised position that they may be in because they want to make more money. And then, two... Um, I make my money off of my land anyway and the classes is just something that I have on the side to give people information that I have or to further give them opportunities that I have in what I know how to do so I make my money off of how many people are actually joining my class you may only have two people to come through but I may have 10 or 15 other people that's selling this class outside of you. See, so that was the, that's the whole purpose. The whole purpose is to be able to help position you to be able to make money. And my side is to make sure that they get the most reliable and the most valuable information that they're going to be able to get regardless to any class that they're taking in, in this particular uh, classroom setting. And that's going to be within these classes here, all of these. So without further ado, I want to thank you guys for actually having an interest in this, uh, being able to come in and join the team to be able to make you some money. Uh, some of you guys probably are going to be selling the classes so that you can pay for you to actually join a class. And if you want to join a class, then you too will only pay me 30%. So say for instance, you had someone that's going to purchase this class here to determine the correct value of your raw land. You sold that class for, say, let's say for instance, you sold it for $1,000 paid me 300 you put 700 in your pocket and then you decide that you want to take that class well you're only going to pay 300 as well so you're only going to pay 30 percent coming in as a vip well that's it that's going to be it you guys you know hopefully um i was able to show you a little bit of something about what's going on within these classes and what we're offering some of these classes have a lot of a lot of information in a lot of value information you take this information you can actually go to a whole nother level with some of these things uh some of these classes but if you guys have any questions just reach back out to me and you guys have a good weekend